Hey people, this is my weekly rundown of things that entertainment news that interest me, and I want to start off this video with talking about Avatar. James Cameron has said that he's interested in making Avatar 2, Avatar 3, and maybe even Avatar 4, and I'm not so sure about this. Personally, I'm not that big of a fan of the first Avatar movie. I think it's pretty good, but I don't think it's as amazing as most people make it out to be. And, for one thing, it just feels like a standalone movie to me, that the success of it has made people think, hey, maybe we should make more of it, because it's, I think, the highest grossing film ever, so, yeah, I understand why a studio would want to make more of a series that makes that much money, but is there really that much of a story to tell? And James Cameron is fully committed to this, but I would love to see him go back and give Terminator the ending that it deserves, because I feel like he just doesn't see the potential in his own creation with Terminator, because there's just so much you could do with the last two Terminator movies, if you want to do two, or if you want to stretch it out more and just tell the story of the future war, but I don't want to rant too much about that. Marvel has confirmed that they are going to go ahead and make a sequel to The Avengers, which is not really surprising because The Avengers had the biggest domestic opening weekend ever, with over $200 million, beating out Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. So it's pretty exciting. They beat it by a large margin. I think Deathly Hallows Part 2 had $160 million, so about $40 million difference there. So huge opening weekend for the Avengers, and it's predicted to do over a billion worldwide by Sunday, I think. So yeah, this movie is doing very well, and it's exciting to see it do well, because I, I saw it, and I really liked it. I think it deserves all the success it's getting. So it's exciting to see this culmination of all Marvel's efforts working out for them and being successful as people had hoped it would be. Also, there is going to be an Avengers video game coming to the Xbox 360 and the Wii U, I believe. I don't think it's the Wii, I think it's the next generation Nintendo console. But they have confirmed that it's going to be motion control based, and I'm not someone who's anti-motion control, but something about this just gives me the feeling that it's another kind of connect Star Wars type thing, where it's just kind of very basic game that uses motion as a gimmick to bring in kind of younger people and more family-based, but we'll see. It's something to keep an eye on if you're a fan. The Green Arrow TV series has officially been picked up by the CW, so if you were a Smallville fan who liked Green Arrow, this might be something to look forward to, and if you're a Green Arrow fan, obviously something to look forward to. This is, however, not connected to Smallville whatsoever. It's a new take on the character, so it'll be interesting to see how this is done and if the tone is anything similar to that, but I'm curious to see how this turns out. There's a new viral video out from The Amazing Spider-Man featuring Kurt Connors, as well as a behind-the-scenes look at the movie with the actor Risa Fons talking about the role and Kurt Connors' relationship to Peter Parker, so that's something to look at if you are interested in this movie, as well as an interview with Tobey Maguire talking to Andrew Garfield. So both Spider-Man actors there, it's kind of cool. Unfortunately, there is no video, it's just kind of a write-up of the conversation, but it's still cool if you are a big Spider-Man. Fan. And finally, I've got some Batman news for you. The Tumblr and the Batpod will be touring around the country. I've got a list in the description that shows the cities they'll be going to and the dates. So if they're coming to a city near you and you'd like to see them, I guess you can go to the site and see. I'm not really sure how it works. But it's pretty cool. If the Tumblr was coming to a city near me, I'd definitely want to see it and maybe take a picture if that's possible. But also, there are a few new interviews. I'm pretty sure they're all kind of brief comments with Christian Bale, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Tom Hardy, and Chris Nolan talking about The Dark Knight Rises. So if you are looking forward to The Dark Knight Rises, pretty much everybody is, then check those out. But that's pretty much all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and tune in next.